Okay, great. Thank you. So this week um, for the Inca seminar, we are very pleased to welcome Takashi Imoto to tell us about measurement of the incoherent decay rate of quantum states in quantum annealing with a D-wave machine. So please, you have uh, about 30 minutes is roughly the expected time, and I can give you some warning if you if you like, but probably you will keep be in the right time, I expect. Thank you. Okay, so thank you for a nice introduction, and so I am happy to uh, so talk in this uh, so seminar three. Okay, so so today, so, uh, so I'd like to talk about so the measurement of the incoherent decay rate of the quantum state uh, in uh, quantum annealing with a uh, so D-wave machine. And so this work is uh, collaborated with uh, so, uh, Yuki Susa and uh, so Ryoji Miyazaki. And so they are uh, belonging to uh, NEC Corporation and so AIST. And so Kadowaki, uh, Tadashi Kadowaki is uh, so famous for advocate of the quantum annealing with uh, the Professor Nishimori, Nishimori Sensei. And so he is belonging to uh, so the Ensemble Corporation and uh, so AIST. And finally, uh, so Yujiro Matsuzaki is belonging to uh, the Joy University and uh, so AIST. Okay, and so finally, uh, so this talk is so based on so this archive paper. So if you're interested, uh, so please check it. Okay. Oh, just a minute. Okay. Okay. So first, uh, so let's show uh, the purpose and result of our work. Okay. So the d machine is so developed as a so quantum annealing machine. And so understanding the property of the so d machine is uh, so one of the crucial topics about uh, QA. And also the, the long wave qubit is very used for uh, the quantum device. So include the uh, d machine. Yeah, so it, it is, uh, Crucial for uh, not only so quantum annealing, uh, but also so several types uh, uh, so quantum device and so quantum uh, so algorithm. Yes. Okay. So next, so we show so our purpose in a talk. Yeah. So this is. This is, uh, yeah, so it, so my purpose, uh, consists of the two topics. So first, so investigation of the properties of the web machines for noise effect. And the next one is the proposal of the long lived qubit. Okay. And so our result is, uh, so two, uh, items. Okay, and first, so we estimate uh, the energy relaxation time in the wave machine. So this is a T1 time. So for several excited states. And so next one, so we propose the long-lived entangled states. So against the energy relaxation. So compared to the single qubit. Okay. Okay, so where to review the quantum annealing. Okay, uh, so first, so we consider the annealing Hamiltonian as a follow, so this one. And so HP so denotes the problem Hamiltonian and HD denotes the drive Hamiltonian. Uh, so problem Hamiltonian is the uh, so Hamiltonian we want to seek for the ground state on the other hand, the type Hamiltonian is uh, the Hamiltonian first uh, quantum state we know, and so we can prepare. Okay. And so quantum annealing uh, consists of so three steps. First, so we prepare the quantum state of uh, the Hamiltonian as the so initial state. 
okay? And next, so we perform the time evaluation of uh, T, so small t, from so zero to capital T with uh, uh, an even Hamiltonian, so this one, for uh, initial state. And so capital T is called so annealing, annealing time. And finally, so we obtained the ground state of uh, problem Hamiltonian using the so sigma z uh, measurement. And so it is, uh, okay, so we should note that, uh, so using QA, so ground state can be obtained the high, probab high probability if uh, so sufficiently long time is taken. Yeah, so sufficiently long time is very uh, important in quantum maneuvering. Okay. Okay, so next, uh, so we so I review, uh, I'd like to review the uh, so reverse quantum maneuvering. And so this is uh so very uh so in crucial uh, okay so this is uh okay so we define that so reverse uh annealing hamiltonian the other photo so this one okay so hd means uh so drive Hamiltonian also and HP so uh, it uh, denotes HP denotes a uh, problem Hamiltonian too and so in this uh, so throughout this talk so drive Hamiltonian is uh, so transverse magnetic field and problem Hamiltonian is uh, so so arbitrary uh, I think model. Okay, and so we need to explain, so KT, this is this one. And so KT is a control parameter for a strength of transverse magnetic field and the problem Hamiltonian. And so we remark, so KT, so this one, so depends on so time T. Okay, and and oh sorry, so this is uh, empty, but yeah, so okay, so reverse annealing uh, consists of so three steps. So first, so we prepare so uh, arbitrary eigenstate of problem Hamiltonian. Yeah, so that is described by the computational basis. Yeah, so so because so. HP is uh, so I think model and so arbitrary uh, arbitrary against state of uh, I think Hamiltonian I think model is uh, described by the computational basis. Okay, so next so we perform the time evolution of uh, so small t so from zero to t one so here and using. Uh, reverse quantum annealing Hamiltonian, so this Hamiltonian. And so make the Hamiltonian stay from so T1 to T2. So here, so this is uh, so time evolution. And so this point, so we make, so the Hamiltonian stay. Okay, and so finally, we perform the uh, time evolution of uh, T from, so yeah, so the here T1 plus T2, two, uh, so T1 plus T2, T2 plus T3, so here. So using uh, RQA Hamiltonian. And so we, so we can see that uh, at that time, so uh, reverse annealing Hamiltonian is become, so uh, so original I think Hamiltonian, I think model. And so we obtain the uh, state after the uh, so reverse quantum annealing. Okay, so it, uh, so yeah, and so I should uh, remark that, so we get the, uh, so lower energy state, uh, energy so eigenstate than the 
initial state probab probabilistically. So using so the decoherence and so non adiabatic transition. Okay. So this it is uh, so not so adiabatic. Okay, so next so we show the uh, so our method. So to obtain the uh, energy energy reaction time measurement for excited states. Okay, and so our scheme consists of so five steps. Uh, yeah, so it is so complicated. So but so Uh, so first, so we prepare an excited state of so HP, the so problem Hamiltonian, so which is discovered by uh, the uh, computational basis. So th this is uh, same uh, for so reverse quantum annealing. Yes, so this is here, and so we perform the time evolution of uh, uh, the t from zero to uh, small t one here. So using uh, reverse quantum annealing Hamiltonian, so we can obtain the first excited state uh, of uh, this Hamiltonian. So this is uh, so Ising model with uh, transverse magnetic field, and so we make the state Hamil uh, sorry. So we make the Hamiltonian stay for t um, two times. So here, and so we. Uh, so we need so adjust so t two time uh, so to measure the uh, so energy relaxation time of the so device and so forth uh, so we perform the so time evolution of t from so t one plus t two so here to uh, sorry so this is typo but uh, so this means so t one plus t two plus t three. So using the Arquay Hamiltonian, so here, and so we obtain the uh, survival probability. So survival probability means that uh, so uh, how often uh, so we obtain the so initial state so via so this protocol. Okay. Yes, yeah, so and so we should remark so the decay rate of the survival probability against two against two, so, so T2 is the so energy relaxation time. Okay, so okay. So let's show uh the Hamiltonian which so we use in this uh, work. Okay, so at first uh, we introduce a fully connected Ising model. So this one, so equation four. And so we, uh, so we said, so your capital J is a so positive, uh, well, so plus one. And so this is a so fully connected Ising model and so ferromagnetic uh, model. And so equation three is, uh, uh, so longitudinal magnetic fair field, uh, yes. And so we should uh, remark that so yeah, so this Hamiltonian has uh, so degenerated ground state, uh, so all up and so all down state. Uh, then also, so we should remark that so HP plus HL is so not degenerated. Okay, so degeneracy is solved. And so, so using this Hamiltonian, so we consider the uh, so following reverse annealing Hamiltonian, so this one. And, and so where we said uh, so initial state is so all up state. And so GK, so this is uh, the parameter of uh, so longitudinal magnetic field, uh, field uh, there's a parameter function. And so we chose 
So we said uh, this one. And so we calculate the entanglement entropy of this Hamiltonian, so numerically, and so it is so here. So this is so entanglement, so ent entropy, and so this part is uh, uh, so the so annealing schedule. Okay, and so yeah, so we can see that uh, so again state of Hamiltonian is entangled so during the so reverse quantum annealing. Okay, so if we can obtain the uh, so first and uh, first excited state by uh, uh, so reverse quantum annealing. Uh, so in this case, that's uh, so adiabatically. So here, this part is uh, entangled. Okay. And so um, and, uh, we should note that, so longitudinal magnetic field, field scheduling, so GK, is uh, available as a function of uh, the DWAVE machine. Okay, so we can, uh, adjust so this parameter uh, when we use the new device okay so this is so experimental result okay so we brought we brought the so survival probability of which is obtained by the new machine so against t2 so yes so here is t2 and so so what called like shift is yeah the survival probability and so this is uh, the so parameter which we use yes yes so measurement now number is so 10,000 and so t1 equal one uh, okay and yeah so we can uh, observe that uh, so we can see that the survival probability of the fully uh, connected ising model is uh, longer than so that of the uh, single qubit. Yeah, so th this is fully uh, connected ising model case. And so, yeah, so plot B and plot C is uh, for C are a four single qubit uh, case. Okay. And yeah, so the probability of uh, survival uh, tends to be a lower when the HD is so small. And so this is the uh, table of uh, energy relaxation time of the web device. And so this is a single qubit case. And so HD, uh, okay, so I should uh, explain so this parameter HD in Yes, so here, okay. Yes, so HD it means uh, HD is the strength of uh, longitudinal, uh, sorry, so transverse magnetic field in uh, reverse quantum annealing. So here, HD, and so, so for example, so this, uh, in this plot, this is so HD equals so 0 0.447, 48, uh, and so this is 45. And so in this plot, so HD equal, is equal to so 0 0.8, uh, from 0 0.8 to 0 dot, uh, so 85, okay. And yeah, so we can see that the so probability of survival so tends to be a smaller. So when it is smaller. Okay. Yes. Okay, so next. Uh, so we brought the survival probability, so which is obtained by the machine machines so against so HD. So the uh, Strength of uh, the transverse magnetic field. 
Okay. So, uh, sorry, so it is uh, so confusing. Uh, but so if so, HD is so small. Uh, so transverse magnetic field is so strong. So here is so very so uh, strong transverse magnetic field regime. And so here, so this is uh, so so weak strong. Uh, sorry, weak uh, weak uh, transverse magnetic field regime. Okay, and so. We can see that uh, the survival probability of the fully connected, I think, model is longer than the that of the single qubit. Yes. So this this line is uh, the fully connected case. So so solid line. So for solid line is uh, fully connected, and so dot line. So this one, this one, this one, this one, are uh, so single qubit case. Okay, and so also, uh, so we can observe that, so the probability of a survive will tend to lower than so when HD is small. Yes, yeah, so this is so also so this one. Okay, uh, so finally, uh, so we should explain so why the case of the fully connected I think model is a uh, wrong limb in terms of the state. Yeah, so, so this is uh so simply simple uh method. So yeah, so this phenomena is caused by so simple phenomena of uh, sorry, some simple mechanism. Okay, so the energy structure of the fully connectizing model and the single qubit is shown in the so far figure. So this is so fully connected I think model. And so this is a single qubit. Okay, so fully connected so can not so transition from the fast excited state here to the ground state in in so the single free. Okay, so Okay, so this so E one is uh, so all up state and so E zero the so ground state is so all down uh, state. So thus, uh, so if so we make so this uh, state uh, so transition uh, so to the so ground state. So we need. Uh, so l uh l single flip okay on the other hand so single qubit so this one can so transition from the uh, fast excited state to the quantum state in the uh, single flip so therefore the so fast excited state of the uh, fully connected i think model is more robust than so that of uh so single qubit Okay, so this is summary. Uh, yeah, so we demonstrate the measurement of the energy relaxation time so using the DWEB machine. And so we prepare the uh, so wrong lived entangled state and reveal that of the structure. And so, yeah, our talk is based on so this uh, archive paper. Yeah, so, yeah, so if you're interested, so please check it. Okay, so, so so thank you very much. Hey, thank you very much. Um, so do we have questions? Matthias, would you like to ask your question? Or is no, that's applause, maybe. It's yeah, not... but I had a question too, so I don't mind asking. Great, go on, ask your question then, please. Um, this, this uh, first of all, thanks for the talk. Um, this this uh, um, explanation that you posit for the survival or for the reason why the um, state survives longer. Um, how well do you expect this to um, generalize also to other Hamiltonians uh, beyond the uh, uh, yeah the icing? Uh, sorry, so one, one more please. Yeah, uh, sorry, yeah, that slide exactly. Um, 
yeah how, how well would how well would you expect this this expression is also to apply to um not fully connected icing models or completely different models um, in general? yeah so yeah it is so very difficult uh so so for example uh oh, sorry so for for example so yeah so if we consider the so spin chain i think model uh in this case uh, of course uh ground state of uh, the this hamiltonian is all up and all down uh, and so i i, I think so this hamiltonian uh, so fast excited state of this hamiltonian is so uh, uh, robust uh, however so uh but however so this hamiltonian is more robust than so the so spin chain so because so we need uh if we uh okay, sorry so if we make so this uh first if we make uh, so this Hamiltonian so transition from uh, so fast excited state to ground state state. So we need so many uh, so very much so energy. So give here. On the other hand, uh, if we uh, if we make uh, the uh, so uh, it, I think spin chain from so fast excited state to ground state so we don't need so large uh, energy so this uh, so yes so spin chain is uh, depend uh, the, the energy of a spin chain is depend on the uh, so domain or of uh, that's because the domain world of uh, so spin of course so if we consider the so complicated I think model, uh, so sometimes uh, so some model is so very so robust and some model is so very uh, not not robust so fragile so I think but so I I, I didn't so I had uh, not so tried so the other model so I, I can. Uh, say uh, yes yeah, so okay. <laughs> sorry so yes okay thank you uh, oh, thank you for nice question okay so i have a question okay uh, what is what is the excited state so did you mention so the 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 ground state is is all spin down Yes. Ah, uh, yes. For, for the fully connected one, yes. So, what is the excited state you are preparing? Is it all spin up? Yes. Yes. Okay. So you're going from all spin up to all spin down. There we are. Yes. And now, but what is the entangled state? Um, uh, yes. With yes. is that the state in between when you have both up and spin up and spin down? Uh, yes, yeah, so yeah, of course, the so all down state and the so all up state is the product state. Yeah. But but so in this work, uh, so uh, so here, so at the first point, so we consider the uh, so I think model so with longitudinal longitudinal magnetic field. So but so here, so in the during so T two. Uh, so we consider uh, so I think model with so transverse magnetic field. Ah, uh, okay. yeah, yeah. So this Hamilton, yes, and so this Hamiltonian has so entangled uh, again state. Yeah. Okay. I'm because normally for entanglement, you have to say which things are entangled. So you are thinking about individual spins entangled with the other spins, 
or are you partitioning the spin somehow? And uh, uh, okay, so okay, so your your question is uh, so um, so what what means so entanglement entropy? So how how yeah how do, yes. do you cut cut? To, yes, to exactly. Ah. What are, yeah, oh. exactly. What are you what are you actually calling entangled here? Just to be very clear what's going on. Uh, okay, yeah. So we consider the only so four qubit. So ah, okay. Uh, so we separate so two two qubit and two qubit. Okay, so you have two with two in this case. Yeah. Okay. Good. Thank you. Um it, I mean, there are more ways you could do it. You could do one with three, for example, and also you could you could have somehow added up different types of entanglement. And I was just I just wanted to be clear what you did. Okay, great. Okay. Um, yes, and, yes, so thank you also, for that yeah, yeah. No, that that's great. That's fine. Now I see what you are using it for. Thank you. So it's it's very nice work. Do we have any more questions? I'm not seeing any other questions in that case. Let's thank you very much again. So for a very nice talk. So, um, thank you for listening. Great. And, um, and with that, we will draw the seminar to a close. So Shanice, you can stop the recording now. <laughs>